one, it's Anna with Audacious Changes. How do you get rid of those negative thoughts? You know which ones I mean. Those, they come in almost automatically. Maybe it's about yourself, you know, you doubt yourself, or you have fears, uncertainties, you're harsh on yourself. Or maybe it's about someone else, a coworker, a family member, a driver, another car, a store clerk, people you don't even know. I've had them. They just come swirling around and they build up and they create this emotional turbulence. And sometimes there's so much of it, we just continue on our day and we're not aware that it's causing this emotional bloating. Yeah, just like when we physically overeat and we feel physically bloated and we're uncomfortable and we're stuffed, same thing happens with our emotions. This bloating causes an indigestion in our entire system with our body and our mind. But what if you tried cultivating the opposite quality, the contrary? When you're feeling hate, try loving thoughts. When you have feelings of anger, try compassion. When you're feeling violent thoughts to yourself, because you know all these negative emotions are violent to your own system, try peaceful thoughts. Or when you have those feelings of anxiety and stress, try replacing it with feelings of contentment and relaxation. I know it's hard. I try to practice it every day. And the reason is that our psychological and neurological systems become addicted to these toxic emotions. They become habituated to it. And so it takes some effort to shift that. But once you make the effort and begin, it paves the way for self-healing. So how do you do this? in everyday life. One way is when you are faced with these situations, either face to face with someone or even in yourself, take a step away, physically take a step away. That creates the physical space, the physical space creates the, the space inside, that psychic and emotional space for something else to occur something else to start happening, a little digestion and transformation as you replace that negative with a more positive thought. And you actually get a bigger perspective on the situation. You can even see it in another light and offer some gratitude to yourself or to the situation. It's not an easy thing and it takes practice and the wisdom comes from the practice. Give it a try. I'd love to hear your comments. This is Anna Mahan, AudaciousChanges.com, where we integrate the body and the mind through small audacious shifts that have profound impacts on our health, wellness, and overall functionality. Thanks for watching my video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, bye.